Hey guys, I have to go to my first yoga therapist appointment today. I'm so excited. I want a light coverage, obviously, because I'm just going to do yoga, but I'm not actually. I'm going somewhere else afterwards, so I do have to look polished, or I'd like to look polished. So I'm going to put this to the test. This is the Givenchy Prism. I think it's Libra. Everybody says Libre, but I'm Canadian. This looks French, and I would say Libra. This is the Skin Care and Glow Foundation. I didn't realize they had a Skin Care and Matte Foundation. I might want to try it. This may be a little bit dark for me. I think, what color is this? This is 3N270. I picked this out when I had a self tan. I can cheat my color up a little bit with this foundation. I think that matches okay. So you can see that it doesn't cover my hyperpigmentation. When I wore it the last time, I just used a bit of concealer there. I really like this too. I paid for this, by the way. I am not sponsored. They don't know who I am. I got this in N250. My little acne spot there. It's healing, but <laughs> I've got this red mark. I would like to try the matte foundation out. Sometimes I like that in the summertime. I'm gonna powder it down with the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. I'm gonna use a powder puff. I don't know how much yoga I'm doing today. This is a initial consultation. And she said it might just be breathing today. I don't know. So I don't know if I'll get sweaty or not. So I'm just going to go right in there and pat that area out. Tonight, I'm not worried about any darkness shining through, really. I just want to look fresh. I don't have to look perfect. I never aim to look perfect because that just makes makeup stressful. And I never want my makeup application to be stressful. That takes the fun out of it. So this is a little bit of hourglass. Maybe just a touch there. Maybe a touch there. Oh gosh, I'm powdering my whole face. Everything else is gonna be basic, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my all-nighter setting spray. I ordered the 24-hour brow setter from Benefit. Oh, it's clear. Oh gosh, I think I'm making a mess. There's two sides. I should read the instructions. Okay, I got myself shiny. Get off there. I don't have a whole lot of brows to stick. Should I just go for a bronze look today? I'm gonna use Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. I'm gonna mix the two together. I used this the other day and it's really pretty. It's got a little bit of a radiance to it. That's kind of the look I'm going for. When I look at my under eyes right now, I think that looks kind of dry and it didn't look like that before. And I used the powder puff. That's the difference. I don't think I can do that at my age. If I powder it with a fluffy brush, just lightly dusting, it'll be better. And I feel like that actually might be too dark for me right now. It's a little yellow. Hmm. Okay, let's try again here. Hold on. I think, yeah, that's too much. I'm going to take a little bit of eye cream. This is the Advanced Repair Eye Cream from Go Pure. I'm going to take my Q-tip and with the moisturizer, I'm going to remove. Actually, I really never powdered that way. Yeah, that looks better. And I don't even have concealer on. So I'm going to go in with my Fenty Concealer. This is the newer one. I never remember the name of this thing. It's 200C. And I love it. I know that color is going to be better right away. That worked. You know what? I'm lazy and I'm going to use my bronzer for my eyeshadow. I'm just going to mix the two. Just a light shadowing. I don't really want much. I'm going to dip into the lighter color only. You won't really see much of a difference, but it has more of the shimmer. How am I going to wear my hair? I'm using a Refer 02 brush, dipping into the same colors again and just creating a shadow underneath. Not really particular about it. I'm going to use my Clio Kill Lash. If you use this, you know it is really, really good. It holds the curl. It's a waterproof, so just know that you have to be patient getting it off. It's not going to just roll off. I did a bad job at curling my lashes this time. That looks crazy. Get off of there. I wanted my lashes to look good, and I think I'm doing a bad job. I think it's because I'm rushing. I've really been liking the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow. I have it in the color taupe. I feel like this pen lasts and the color looks good. I'm a natural ginger and oftentimes they look too dull and I don't want them looking red either. So I don't get an auburn or a red. Blonde is too pale. Yeah, that makes my forehead look smaller. Did you notice that? I'll do my hair in a minute. I'm gonna use Soar by MAC, fill it in a little. I've never used one of these before. It's the MAC Plumping Gloss Stick, and this is in the color Amped. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready to go. I actually think I'm gonna leave my hair like this. Why not? I'm going to yoga. It is 10.30 at night. It looks like I don't have any foundation on, but I have been touching my face a lot. I went for my yoga therapy class, and through that, we did a lot of talking, and I was doing a lot of this. This is just a very bad habit of mine. I don't know. I just feel like I've done a lot of this. <laughs> I don't think it really gave it a good shot. 
Not that I'm trying to boost the performance of this foundation because I purchased this. I want to give you an honest review. My first wear test went very well. So I'll have to do it again and make my final decisions of how this wears or if I would recommend it to people. I am exhausted. So I'm going to go to bed. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.